time to sit down and have some fun playing. What the hell? You said six o'clock, right? Yeah. AM or PM? Oh. Want some? So, what's with the stair face? I'm waiting for the cataclysm to happen. I thought you said it was 6 o'clock and you didn't even know if it was night or day. I said it would happen at 6, not that it would reach us at 6. Therefore, it could happen at any time. Has it happened what yet? The, dude, I'm in the shower! Not that I've never seen before! Well, 6 o'clock a.m., no cataclysm. Maybe I meant 6 o'clock tonight. Oh, come off it! You're just making this up as you go, aren't you? You don't even know what's gonna happen, do you? Maybe! <sighs> Whatever, just have a seat over there and just hang around. If your cataclysm happens, you'll be the first to know. Oh, well, that was a waste of a half a day. Well, I guess now I've got time to do what I was originally planning to do, which is play a video game that randomly appeared in my Steam library. Literally, no joke. I did not buy it for myself. I did not receive it as a gift. I've heard of worse reasons to do a review and play a video game, so this is no time to explain Remastered. First, a little background. Tiny Build is an indie developer publisher that was founded in 2011 when two people decided to start a Kickstarter to develop a joke game into a full-fledged Steam game. However, after tons and tons of issues, the game released on the new Steam Greenlight program and slowly gained traction. Burned out after struggling to bring their dream to a reality, Tiny Build began partnering with other developers, and even helped bring the popular and enjoyable speedrunners to the forefront. Then, in 2015, they re-released a remastered edition of their original game, No Time to Explain. But is this game really a masterpiece worthy of such a remastered status? Well, you sold me! Let's take a look! Oh great, my landlord's gonna love this. I am you from the future. There's no time to explain. Follow me to- OH CHRIST! Ah! <laughs> Holy freaking jeez! This, this game just jumps right into everything! <laughs> I gotta say, it definitely lives up to its name. Why did he come back to this moment? Where did he come from? When did he come from? What the hell is that giant claw thing? 
Nope. Literally no time to explain. Just pick up the future gun and get out there and have fun. Have fun storming the castle! Luckily, this game is like a Swiss Army gun. You can use it as a powerful ray beam to destroy things, or you can use the energy to launch yourself into the air like an awesome jetpack of awesome. Huh. Not much different here. I kind of expected more from a time traveling game, where every single time I go back and change something, it alters the timeline for a really funny joke. To be fair, there are some small differences, like this row of spikes on the ground that I'm just awesome enough to kill myself on three times here. That calls for a sexy dance party! There's a beautiful day, headed your way, keep your head up, 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 you'll be okay. I really wish that this gun came with an instruction manual for how to use it. I mean, yeah, if you point the right stick in a certain direction, you use your gun and shoot out this beam, but how do you use it effectively? I guess counterintuitively, you shouldn't jump when you use the gun because you're less affected by the propulsion energy. Let's try it from the ground. Oh my god, yes! Yes! I am Iron Man! Yes, this is awesome! I can fly like an awesome- Wait, wrong way! Well, it's a bit of a learning curve, I guess. So now the portal takes me through alternate universes, like where apparently I'm a rich money bags, or where my home is now part of Russia. I guess that special prosecutor did a bang-up job with his investigation after all. After that, we finally catch up with that scary crap ship for an epic duel of epic proportions. Well, I feel at kind of a disadvantage with my little rocket gun of propulsion when you've got your giant missiles and center beam of doom, but I guess we'll give it a go? Well, that was almost despicably easy. Dance party! Whoa, wait! What? 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 How can that guy not be dead? I like blasted his ship from the sky and then crashed in a fiery explosion of death! No worries, that's not a problem. I, I guess I'll just be having my second biggest crab leg dinner I've ever had in my life. Oh god, he got me! He got me! Huh. I guess they do boss fight lives differently than they do in the rest of the game. You only get four lives to make sure that's really a challenge when you fight against these bosses. Which is fine, I have no problem with that, because you know what? This giant crap guy is TOAST! Oh man, I thought this was going to be perfect for a special crab like dinner, but nope, this guy's just a giant scary mecha crab. Doesn't matter, this giant scary mecha crab guy is STILL TOAST! EAT MY DEATH RAY! <laughs> Alright! Awesome! Now we can all just have a sexy dance party and... The future. Uh. Huh. Well, that just puts a downer on things. Uh, come on, buddy. Wake up! Come on! We were winning! Get up, dude! Don't go where I can't follow! Who else will be around to use the awesome gun? Wait, the gun's a lot more awesome than the other me. Leave the Dumbo. Take the gun. Guess there's nothing to do but jump through the portal and... Huh. Okay. Yaddy, I am yaddy, you yaddy, from yaddy. the future! Skippity, no time to ex- Wait a minute. <laughs> Okay, I'm... That's pretty awesome. I gotta say, I did not even expect that. I guess we're just stuck in a loop where everything is just gonna keep on happening and every single time it happens, it's gonna be more and more awesome and then... Oh no, what now? This won't be it! The Cataclysm! Oh my god, there are more of you. Of me? Of us? Quick! There's a cataclysmic event happening! Six o'clock? Yes! Yep, by now. The other me from the future already told me. Really? Did we stop it? I have no idea what will happen during the cataclysm. I don't suppose you can enlighten us. Well, of course! 
The character sneak event is? Yes. Oh, butter snickles. I jumped through the portal before I heard what it was. Oh. <laughs> just great, just great. Um, why don't you just go ahead and have a seat with your team over there? Eh. <sighs> okay. Well, anyways, I guess we should just continue. Hmm, and looking at everything, there should be a way to add another player into the mix okay. by just having them hit a button on their controller. The well, if I had any friends, then yeah, sure, I'd invite them over to help out with this, but... Yeah, I'll, I don't see that happening. So, I mean, the only way that this would ever work is if I somehow make copies of myself and we all just went in this together. How likely is that going to happen? Well, I'm fine on my own. I don't need another person to get me through this game. It's not like everything's gonna change, Listen, right? Shut up! Oh my god, everything's gonna change. Apparently, after a certain point, the game switches your gun to the little cricket from Men in Black. Yep, that's the one. It's actually a much more unique touch than I was expecting. I really thought it was gonna be a propulsion gun all the way through, so well done. Well done playing with my expectations. Plus, the strategy is entirely different now. Instead of calculating where you're pushing yourself to, you have to actually use physics to plot your trajectory. And even better, it's actually a lot of fun seeing yourself go flying around like that. Except when you're trying to get through all the sand blocks, like, um, Exhibit A. Okay, well, I think I'm getting the hang of this gun. It took a little bit of getting used to, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. At least I'm not allergic to seafood! Oh, I guess I am! <laughs> oh. Well, that was a quick change back to the original gun. I, I was just getting used to the little cricket. I would have liked to go on a little bit longer with it. But, oh, well, it, it's okay. It's okay. Well, so, what's this next world got in store for me? Guess it's a water world kind of thing with some really bizarre physics. Not having taken physics before, I can't say if using water like this to get extra high is accurate or not. But then again, who am I to question the physics of a game with a jetpack gun and time traveling mecha crabs? Once you worked your way through the water world, it's time to face off with that epic man eating shark. Not too much of a surprise, seems like a relatively standard boss setup. Great White jumps out of his boat, tries to bite or kick you with his flipper. Nothing too unusual here. Okay, so this giant shark will jump high into the air and poop 80 tons of TNT on you. And this is why I don't go to the beach. Damn it! This guy's harder than I thought! Gotta watch for the spikes on either side that can't fall too far in the water, and this shark is pretty tough to hit and dodge at the same time! Granted, it might not be on the same level of difficulty as trying to work the elevators in the original Hitman game, but I think the spikes along the side might be a little superfluous considering how challenging the shark is. By the way, the cameo of the SS Royal in the background is pretty cool. Would have liked to see the racers from speedrunners running around too, but still a great cameo. Hey, I got him! <laughs> That'll show you that! Wait, what the hell? So the killed shark metamorphoses into a giant tentacled shark mutant. Huh. I gotta admit, I never saw that coming. I mean, I, I think we've just found the new Jaws movie. You know, Jaws 15. Evolution is for Ding Dong. I might actually go see that in theaters. Oh great, now the alien crab monsters are rapturing me. I really can't think of anything worse that could possibly... Oh, son of a... Not again.
I got a lot of questions about, well, that, but um, I think I'll save them for later. Okay, what's next? So I'm in the guts of the spaceship, and it's pretty much what you would expect. I mean, no little green men or anal probing, unless you count all the times I hit the spikes with me getting buggered. But we're dealing with some familiar territory here. Tractor beams, bouncy fun boosters, upside down flipping blocks, and a maze of spikes. But when all is said and done, I gotta say, it's a pretty good level design. I gotta give credit and props to the creators for doing this kind of a level, making it their own, but staying true to the core of the game. Well done. Well done. And when you get to the heart of the ship, it's time to destroy the main reactor. <laughs> However, it's not as simple as just driving a ship down the trench and firing a torpedo into a little opening. See, those four screws are graviton emitter disruptors, and they make your particle guns beam whip around in a fancy woo-woo, which makes it hard to hit the target. What? I don't know the technical term for these things. I'm a gamer, not a thesaurus. Uh, actually, a thesaurus just tells you a synonym for a word. It's a dictionary that tells you what something actually is. Can't face Paul. Anyways... So, someone needs to explain to me the, uh, ship design for the ship. For some reason, the aliens also made their main reactor their junkyard, and they keep dropping useless trash on my head. Which would be a huge hazard if you're the repair person sent in to fix something. Plus, the core does a devastating drop and liquefy the floor attack that would cause some issues as well. All I can say is that this room was definitely not built to code, as clearly all of my death montage here can show you. Okay, okay, come on, come on! Haha, <laughs> yes, yes, I am awesome, I am awesome! Wait, what the, 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 what the hell is this? You better explain where all this is going. I'm with you, what the hell is going on? And who's this guy? And what happened to the giant crabs? Roger, Dodger. Ah! I literally have no words. What, what, what the hell am I supposed to say about a post-apocalyptic future where dinosaurs rule the world with lasers, missiles, pterodactyl jets, and triceratop tanks? <laughs> I think there's only one way to make it through this. I just, I, I can't. I just can't even comprehend this madness. I'm riding a bank robber with cool shades from the future and fighting two dinos armed with bazookas on top of a speeding rafter. And now one of them has become super wrapped. What? What do I even say to this? I'm done. I, ca I can't go on. This, this game, this game has finished me. It's broken me. I am broken. This game... Either I'm off my meds, or this game is off it, or it's never been on its meds, and it should have been. I mean, how can I possibly go on after seeing something like that?
Don't get me wrong, this game is awesome, and even in its weirdness, there's a unique charm that I honestly cannot fault. But based on the difficulty and the LSD-inspired madness, how can I possibly go on? What is left for me in life now that I have experienced the nirvana of bizarreness? Wait a minute. I can't be undone by this game. There's gotta be a way for me to, to stop this madness from happening! Cool. That's it! Hey! Me in the future! Yes? yes? Listen, you've gotta go back in time! You gotta stop this whole mess from ever happening! I know what you're going through! I'm already started that! Wait, wait, where are you going? Wait! Wait! God damn it! I didn't even get to tell you what it was! Don't worry, Jamal. I'll go after him and stop him. Here, hold it, you. Wait, I didn't tell him what the cataclysm was either. Oh shit. Hey guys, so one thing I wanted to touch on in the video, and I started to, but then, as you noticed, I never actually came around. It's gonna be a big joke. Uh, is the multiplayer because multiplayer is actually something that is actually pretty fun in this game. You each get to play as your own separate character, you're going through with your guns and you're trying to solve the same puzzles, save the world all together. It's a blast! It's a lot of fun! Um, fortunately there was some footage issues so didn't actually get that section into the review but I wanted to touch base on it because this game it really deserves to have the full breadth and scope of everything that's available talked about because it's it really is the bizarre randomness that you would ever expect, and I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Even as I'm staring at it, trying to figure out what is the hell is going on, at least it was entertaining. It was fun. So, props to Tiny Build. Well done. Alright, let's get some more videos hopefully this year. Not like a whole year off like we did last time. Alright, ciao.